Hello! Anak ni Gobang in the house. Gobang New Normal is a YouTube channel with content full of hayo, such as cats and dogs. Pero ngayong araw, we will unbox a product of Coast Audio which I ordered on February 11 and arrived the same day. Pero bago ang lahat, kagaya ng sinasabi ng paborito kong barbero, Intro! Pasok! While I'm unboxing all the plastic that will probably go to wasteland, but we will recycle it, don't forget to like, comment your thoughts, and subscribe with a kalembang. The truly wireless earphones, in which I will call it an earbud just now, but I feel ko it is called a truly wireless earphones rather than an earbud. Oh, so, for that, please excuse me. <laughs> You're looking at now the truly wireless earbud or earphone from Coast Audio, which they named Project Go. Nabili ko to ng 499 pesos. Of course, wala pa dun yung shipping fee. It's around 11 dollars, 11 US dollars for their first 300 customers. So yung first 300 customers nila makakabili ng Project Go with around 499 pesos. Syempre bukod pa doon yung shipping fee unless may voucher ka. It is at retail price at 650 pesos which is about 14 dollars. And nabili ko siya sa online shop nila sa Shopee. Don't worry, I will leave the link down below and of course their FB page as well. Going with the earbuds, I believe the theme for these earbuds is gaming and retro, accompanied with a classic and modern style. It comes with the earbuds, the Type B micro USB cable, three pairs of in-ear silicone ear tips, two plastic ziplocs, and travel case. The travel case that came with the package is just a typical hard case to store your USB cable and earbuds. You can find it in the market at around 25 to 60 pesos. It doesn't have a charging feature, which a lot of earbuds nowadays have. The case was also big enough for the earbuds and the USB cable to fit in. Maybe some of your little stuff can also fit in. I like that this time they provided black case for the all black earbuds. When I bought my first product, the DreamBuds 100, I ordered black and white earphones, but the case was orange. But I didn't really use the case since I don't usually go out due to the community quarantine. Going back, as you can tell, I love black. Giving all black suit to the black earbuds or earphones finishes off the aesthetic. I also realized that the shell was entirely waterproof. Still, I'm not recommending anyone to try it on a rainy day with your earbuds in it, for the reason of it is horrifying and you don't want to buy another pair. They provided us a regular black Type A to Type B micro USB cable, which I think is the same length as the earbuds when the wire is stretched. You can find it in the market at around 50 to 100 pesos. I appreciate the micro USB cable because all the charger in our house is occupied. I don't need to buy another one in Shopee or share a charger. The cable's length is enough to charge the earbuds because you may not need to use it while charging. So it is quite reasonable for the purpose and the price. When you are pushing the connector, it is somewhat produces a click and a red light appears from the controller which i believe that it is charging however it doesn't go all the way down the charging port of the earbuds which is acceptable because the company needs to make the earbuds as lightweight and small as possible the wire accompanied with the earbuds is nylon but a thinner one as said in the reviews section in shopee the wire is somewhat narrow or thin If comparing it with the earbuds, oh, it is light. However, I do believe they made it thin for beautification and lightweight purposes. Coast Audio recommends everyone to wear it like seen in this photo. It somehow makes sense because when the customer puts the wire at the back 
and not semi-encircling his or her ear, he may not know that the earbuds already fell off. Since they made it very little and it's also Bluetooth earbuds, you may not want to drop it every other time. I feel relaxed when I'm wearing it because since it's not as thick as the earbuds, people may or may not notice it too much. In simple words, it's not distracting. Speaking of wearing it, one of its cons is also the fact that it's thin because when I try to exercise with it, since it falls right through my neck and around my ear, the sweat falls onto it. It gave me a scary feeling because I may destroy it in the first day. Hopefully, I did not. And I instantly wiped the sweat off the wire. I also think that they specify that it was sweat proof, but not waterproof. So, still scary. The three pairs of in ear silicone ear tips. Ghost Audio sent three pairs of in ear silicone ear tips, which are in color gray. It got three sizes small, medium, and large for your ears. It is also a regular silicone ear tip. You can find it around 50 to 80 pesos. So when you somehow lost one, you can just buy another one and insert it. I commend Coast Audio for giving extra two pairs of ear tips in large and small sizes. Because not all people have the same ear holes. Ear hole. However, Sometimes the earbuds fall from my ears, especially when I'm doing exercises such as crunches and plank. The right side suddenly fell off and I would like to suggest Coast Audio to provide more sizes for their consumers. Controls The controller, if I'm not mistaken, reminds me of a Nintendo Switch, Joy-Con, or a Game Boy. I think the Coast Audio is really going for that gaming aesthetic. The earbuds got three controls. The plus, which increases the volume in one push, and pushing it within three seconds will play the next song. The minus is the opposite of the button I mentioned earlier, and the circle, which is the power button and also serves as a play and pause when pushed. Let us not forget that the control is also the microphone. Yes, you can use these earbuds when, con when answering a call or simply answering a teacher in online class. Another thing to keep in mind, the built-in microphone does not have the background sound noise suppression. You may want to move a bit far from your neighbor that is singing his or her heart out in the karaoke. Of course, after you get some egg rolls from your birthday party. Another feature of the control thing is the blue and red LED light between the three buttons and the charging port. When the earbuds is turned on, it will alternate the red and blue light and when connected, it will stop from rotating. When it is connected and you are playing a song, the blue light will appear within 10 seconds delay. When you turn it off, the red light will blink for 3 seconds. Also, the back portion of the earbuds, it has 7 little holes that I don't know its purpose. Maybe for ventilation or if you know, just comment it down below. I like the controller's design, it is lightweight and does not add a lot of weight to the earbuds. Also, the buttons are different from one another. It is slightly embossed, so you can distinguish it and still control the song even if your phone is a bit far away from you by just clicking the buttons. Speaking of true wireless, well, this one has wire but come on, what can you expect from an $11 or $14 earbuds? And it is not that distracting anyway. The shape of the earbuds is rounded and you are given a Coast Audio type of style with it. Because you can't really see that much dark wood varnish like in all other earbuds in the market. Usually it is black or white or red. Also, it is not that slippery when you put it inside your ear. It is somewhat unique but you can still see the resemblance when compared with some cheap in-ear headphones and the frugal silicone ear tips. I don't really have that much to say about it so we are proceeding with the earbuds sound quality. Before I even talk about the sound quality, please note that I am no expert in earbuds or earphones. The review that I will discuss is primarily from a normal human being's more than a week observ observation of the product. So let's get into it. Everybody else who bought the product said it and I will say it too. The base of these earbuds or earphones is 
a beast. When you listen to music with such great use of bass, I listen to like Bohemian Rhapsody by Queen, Timber by Pitbull, and Heartbreak Anniversary by Giveon. You will definitely appreciate the loud bass that completes the song. If you love songs that have a lot of bass on them, you will devour this product. But if you don't, do not worry because the earbuds still perform their sound well with all the songs and sounding well means you can make the piece crisp and clear. It seems as if you are listening to a live band. I find the earbuds particularly loud with their volume at 50%. Coast Audio recommends that we put it on about 70%. But I can't live with that because it is really particularly loud at 50, so how much more is 70? The volume of this product at its superb quality is also accompanied with effective noise cancellation. I don't recommend commuting with this product at its highest recommended volume because you may not be aware of the sound around you. For the experience with it, all I can say is that it gives you concert-like expertise when you are listening to the song. I haven't had any sound delay within my week of using it. Also, it can still be connected to your phone within 3 meters. At first, I was really hesitant to use it while exercising because I may ruin the wire. But the wire is made of thin nylon, upon further observation. I'm afraid that my sweat bonding with the controller which I believe is made of plastic. I have to complain about the ear tip's size because my right ear does not really fit with the small size provided unlike my other ear. It is advertised that you can charge this product within 30 minutes and get 6 hours of playtime. At first, when I charged the product, it is 30 minutes or less. But when I drained the battery, it charged about an hour and 5 minutes. Nonetheless, I can still use it for around 6 hours and more. So the question you are probably questioning (laughs) is, should I buy it? Yes. You should. One of the reasons for buying it is of the low price they are giving. Another one is it ships immediately because I bought it a day before it is delivered. Also, Coast Audio is replying to your messages in Shopee. If there is a problem with the product, you can just contact them. And most importantly, it's a local Filipino product based on their advertisement. Locally made. So if you like this video, don't forget to like, comment your thoughts, and subscribe to Gobang New Normal. And if you like cats, you can also check GNN's other videos.